so as promised, this is episode two of Left 4 Dead 2. Um, not gonna let this series die, I promise. <laughs> so um, this will be chapter two that we're gonna play today. Um, actually, I should probably do a quick audio check like I always do. One second. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're in the stream, thank you for following my stream. Uh, my YouTube channel is My Lab ASMR, and uh, for all of my YouTube viewers, you can always watch my streams. Um, my tw uh, my Twitter will be in the description, so you can go ahead and click that and drop a follow and uh, make sure your notifications on to catch a ASMR gameplay uh, stream. So let me test this real quick. Thank you for being patient. Gotta make sure I'm not talking to myself, you know. We did Dead Center. So chapter two is the passing. If this is a quick chapter, we'll do two chapters in one episode. So we can do chapter two and three. For this video. Uh, normal difficulty. Uh, let's go with. Let's go with that. Let's right, test out the game audio. Make sure it's not too loud, too low. Should be pretty good. Sweet. Alright, let's get it. Oh, um, I don't want the magnum. I will take two pistols though. Yeet! Alright, let's get it. Also, again, let me know if you guys like this keyboard. I have a more quiet keyboard. But you guys can let me know. Do you like the clicking this or do you want like a more silent keyboard? Also, if you've never played Left 4 Dead or um, you just don't know anything about this game. Let me know what you think. I think it's a pretty awesome game. Been playing it. A big part of my life. Holy shit, I just noticed. It is raining really fucking hard. God, there was no alarm on that door. I know in this game they like to bamboozle, bamboozle us. Oh, nice. Guns in the store. Huh. Pengillers? Yes. That's a charger or a boomer. I got a chain gun here. 
actually just want to try this out. <laughs> I think that might be a... Fuck is that? Is that a... <gasps> is that a tank? That's a tank. Oh shit. Y'all ran the way, so I can't really fucking shoot them. <laughs> I was trying to shoot this that I threw at it to explode, but dumbass computers gets in the way. Whatever, all good. Oh, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. See him. It's a good thing I just sprayed like that. Uh oh. I am enjoying this gun. <laughs> oh shit. Gotta get a real gun. I hear them. <gasps> no. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, hope everyone's keeping cool in summer. And, uh, fall is coming up. Super excited. Fall, what am I talking about? The cool is coming in. October is one of my favorite months for sure. <laughs> but winter overall is just incredible. Wait, this has an alarm. Almost jumped on it. Pipe bomb guys. Reloading. Oh shit. We just have to push. I forgot I had explosive rounds, whoops. Oh, nice. I do think this is my favorite gun in the game though. Just a silence little Uzi. I love it. Accurate, sounds nice. Good gun. I 
I hear a jockey. A boner. Where's he at though? Huh, there you are. I killed her. Dude, that is always so scary, bro. Because one hit, you're just done. But I don't bitch out. I just go for it. Do this? This uh, speaker over here? Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, we're fine. going through things these past couple months and just really bad just mentally and just physically just been sick and everything and like I said just mentally exhausted and just ugh. and uh, I don't know good things have been coming my way because I've been more positive and if there's anything I can tell you guys is just be positive and manifest success and do anything to really just get yourself out there and Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. I know this sounds weird, especially whenever you're not doing too well in life. The last thing you want to think of is putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. But honestly, put yourself in an uncom uncomfortable position just because, like, to show yourself you can get through anything. Then your confidence will go up, and your comfort will actually increase too. I know it sounds corny, but seriously, I've been doing that recently, hey, just trying to, I don't know, I've been living in fear of like little things that, you know, shouldn't bother me, that has never bothered me, but and I start putting myself in situations to overcome those things, and uh, life's been good. You don't have to be a holy person at all, but um, I am, and uh, I will say uh, that has helped significantly with my happiness. I still struggle with anxiety and some depression too, but that's okay though, like, that stuff takes time, you know? Yeah, it's temporary, yes it'll go away, but you just gotta go through the thick of it. 
that's my best advice. Just take it one day at a time and be positive and don't be too down on yourself. Don't don't be too hard on yourself. Like you're a lot better than what you think you are. I'll just say that. Even if you think highly of yourself, great. Think even higher. Like everyone's fantastic in their own ways. And everyone has their weaknesses, but weaknesses can turn into strengths if you make it that way. Running a roller coaster, you know, like when you're a kid. Um, I mean, this is just an analogy for anyone who's ever been scared of roller coasters. Like as a kid, you know, most kids are scared of roller coasters at first, but once you are forced into that uncomfortable position, and you're like fuck, and you're in that roller coaster, and you're fearing for your life. But then the roller coaster is over, you smile and you laugh and you're like, dude, that wasn't even that bad. That's the exact reason why I'm saying put yourself in uncomfortable positions, because in the end you're gonna find out it's not that bad. <laughs> and start to focus on the things that you do have that are great. That other people's probably wish they had, you know? Be appreciative, be humble, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Even if it freaks you out, like, seriously, just, just do it. Because I promise you can. You can do it. Anyone can. If you see others do it, so can you. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, what gun was this? Shotgun? Mm, fuck it. Bored of using the same gun. <gasps> oh my god, I just got fucked up. <laughs> You know what, let's get an axe. Fuck it. Did we go upstairs? Yeah, we did, right? Oh, we know we did. <laughs> I just blew her back out. That's funny. Wait, what's up here? Damn. Chop. Chop. It's actually kind of satisfying. Can we go through here? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. They would have to see their spine, bro. Damn. I blew that guy's manhood out for him. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Kind of low key look comfy, but whatever. I need to get a new bed. My bed's starting to hurt my back and neck and shit. Wait, what the hell? Did we just. Hold on. Did we just go into a circle, bro? Hold on. Oh, wait. We didn't even cross to begin with. Hello. Oh, shit. Alright, go get the pipe bomb. Nice. Ooh. I like this gun, too. Hi. Huh. <sighs> 
Hello. <laughs> oh shit, 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 nice. Yeah, this game looks really good on the PC. Like I said, um, for all y'all that don't know, this is not a newer game, this is a very old game. <laughs> This is like Xbox 360 kind of days, which were like some of the best days to be honest, but whatever. I was thinking about making an ASMR versus mode. Um, wow, I think that has an alarm and I almost shot it. Wait a minute, can I ask the shit out of this guy real quick? Oh, uh, let me just back up. Did y'all see how many fucking zombies were there? Reloading. Oh, ow. Rochelle, get out of the fire. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? Oh wait, I need more pills. What were the one of the first games you guys played? What was like one of the first memories you had of a video game? The very first, and I'm not fucking kidding, I remember this clear as day. My very first game console was a PlayStation 1. I was very, very small, very, very young. And I just remember my mother had this cardboard brown box, right? Just kind of looked like a small moving box. Like typical brown box you would use for like, you know, moving, you know, stuff from house to house kind of thing. Um, with that being said, I didn't grow up with a lot of money, um, and so I'm assuming my mother got this from like a pawn shop or something, because yeah, you know, grew up pretty rough. Um, but I was still like super young, like super super young, like barely could even hold a controller, kind of young. Um, my very first game, I remember Player's Day, was Buzz Lightyear. Not kidding. If you guys don't know who Buzz Lightyear is, he's the guy from Toy Story. He's like the second main character. But yeah, he had his own game, he had his own cartoon, everything. <laughs> Such a good game. As a kid, it was like the most challenging fucking game in the world, but <laughs> I mean, that's expected. Then from there, got a PlayStation 2, and uh, PlayStation 2 is where I started playing more of my, um, I was introduced into the adventure games, my very first shooters. My very first shooting games was uh, Call of Duty 1 and Call of Duty 2. Um, from there, 
I would play all my neighbors, all the other kids in my neighborhood. I would tell them to come over and we'd play first person shooters. And, um, yeah, I would just skunk the shit out of those kids. <laughs> and then I started playing competitive Call of Duty on the Xbox 360. And then from the PS2, I really wanted an Xbox because my cousin had an Xbox. Uh, basically, everyone had an Xbox. And um, I felt really left out because um, first, person, first person shooter, Halo, as you all know, Halo was like one of the very um, big turning point in video games when it comes to first person shooters and adventure. Um, so, and, but it's an Xbox exclusive. So I really wanted to play Halo, and um, my cousin lived like over an hour away, so I couldn't ask my mom to drive me that far all the time just to go play Halo with my cousin, you know? So I begged my mother, and as a little kid I did research. I called like pawn shops and everything near me, and I was like, Mom, Christmas is coming up, and for Christmas I want an Xbox. It's only like 50 bucks. But at the time, Xbox has been out for a long time, so yeah, it wasn't anything crazy I was asking for, you know, it was just something that I was, just wanted to play fucking Halo, you know, and at the time, Xbox had, Xbox had the best games, the best, um, and yeah, so, cool thing my mom did, when Christmas came, I didn't get an Xbox. I got something called an Xbox 360. Yep, my mom shocked the hell out of me. And I mean, she shocked me so much because, like, like I said, we didn't have money. We did not have money. But my mother decided not to give me an Xbox, but to get me something even better. The newest game console out. And that was the coolest thing my mom's ever done for me. I mean, I won't forget that till today. And Xbox 360. Xbox 360, yeah, that that changed my life forever. That's whenever I really started competing, and my competitive spirit came out with first-person shooters and all that good stuff. Um, and then the Xbox One and PS4 came out, but like I said, Xbox 360 changed my life, so naturally and also all my friends and everyone had Xbox 360 because Xbox 360 was just so superior to PlayStation 3 so I never even bothered to get a PlayStation 3 at that time um, but yeah so I went with Xbox one which was the next Xbox system that came out um, it was great however um, <laughs> PS4, I guess PlayStation and you know Sony overall just t decided to really step up their fucking game, and uh, the PlayStation exclusives were just impeccable. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to be a content creator. I, I knew that growing up, you know, and um, I knew that if I was gonna create content on a like an Elgato or something, so capture a game card that I would want to do it on a console that you know has a lot of really cool exclusive games and at the time Xbox didn't really have that great stuff what Halo, Gears of War and not much else you know so I decided to get rid of my Xbox One and get a PlayStation 4 honestly never looked back I've been absolutely in love with PlayStation ever since and then, as of, oh, we need time to, do it. yeah, nice. Um, and then as of recent, uh, oh shit, dude, how many? While doing all this storytelling, I have not even realized how many zombies I just had to fucking kill. 
Like, oh my god. Oh my god. They're not stopping. I'm gonna heal my little computer friend. I don't understand how they're still coming. Like, I really don't get it. I don't even have ammo anymore, unless I'm gonna have kill. Um, anyways, wrap up my story. As of recently, <sighs> I've realized how superior a uh, computer is. So, got a gaming PC. Um, I still play my PlayStation 4 and. I will be, oh my god, no fucking way. And um, I will be getting the PlayStation 5, don't get me wrong. I will always love my consoles, but um, yeah, I mean, it just, it's so much easier to stream and upload all in just one really fast PC, you know? And an like, old game like this would never look this good on a PlayStation 4 or whatever, like, this game runs so smooth on this, it's just impeccable. And if I want to keep creating content, you know, I gotta... I gotta be able to do it on a strong system. It's, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the, in the comments uh, what your uh, first consoles were and uh, how you got to where you are. It's crazy. I, um, <laughs> for a long time I wanted to be a professional first person shooter, you know. Coach, don't you take that fucking health pack. Don't take... Hey. Can I get the... Can I get the, um... You know what? <sighs> Fuck it, whatever. Huh? <gasps> Katana! But yeah, I, I really wanted to be a professional first person shooter player. Specifically Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> I'm very, still to this day, I'm actually extremely, extremely good at uh, any first person shooter. Um, if it seems like I suck, it's because I'm playing on PC and. I'm still getting used to mouse and keyboard, but I'm talking about on controller. Oh god, unstoppable! Hello. These are the first characters from the the first Left 4 Dead. Um, I didn't go pro just because I never that game is so you need and I mean you need to have a good team I never could really find compatible teammates that could match pretty much what I was looking for can y'all shoot the fucking thing off me? sorry I just raised for a second that was really annoying. Um, yeah, I never found... I don't want to sound like an asshole or just to sound arrogant, but like... Um, I don't know, I always found myself carrying my team really kind of... Doing a lot more than what I should have hey, to do. Um, just never really found teammates that could match my skill and gameplay, I guess you could say. And again, I don't want to like make it sound like I'm an arrogant asshole or anything, but it's true. You know? All right, let's get these easy ones, bro. I fucking this chapter is actually a fucking pain in the ass. This is actually taking a lot longer. I don't think I'm going to do two chapters this video, just because it's taking a while. But don't worry, I mean, it doesn't matter, because I mean, I'm going to be uploading these daily, so 
you're not gonna run out of content or anything like that so This is when playing online really helps. Just cause um, everyone could be grabbing canteens and doing this at the same time, but but also another bad thing online is that people don't really stick together. And if you get trapped by like a hunter or jockey or whatever, that is um That's when you all die basically. I thought this would loop around. Oops, sorry. <gasps> oh my god. They threw three guys at me. They threw the boomer, the charger, and a hunter. This is what I'm saying. This is like the worst fucking level in the game. This is so over, overly difficult. I have to get all these canteens while they throw all these elite ass the zombies at me. Just back to back to back. I mean look, we got a fucking tank already. And we're not even halfway done. <laughs> Let's see, let's go get these back here. I think I saw a boomer. Yep. Can we do this on the first try? I played this online, and literally two tries later, we still couldn't do it, so. It's actually a really tough level. <gasps> no, someone kill him. Someone kill him. Someone kill him. Thank you. I wish I had a fucking pipe bomb or something. Ow, ow, ow! I see what I'm saying, this is so fucking stupid. I know a lot of you in the comments will try to roast me and say, you know, like. Why don't you just kill the zombies and then go put the gas in the tank? But it's just like, no bro, like, even if I stand here and start killing all these zombies, wave after wave after wave will just keep coming. Like, you just gotta keep going. Here. We're not doing too bad. Only three more. <gasps> Someone killed a hunter. Get the fuck off me. Move, move. Get the 
fuck off me. <gasps> oh. Fucking juke the shit out of that guy. No. Someone help her. <laughs> Juked. Again. <laughs> Where's the third guy at? Oh, he's up there. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go get the last one. Why would y'all break the tank towards me, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, thank God we actually got this on the first try. Swear. Nice. Heal my little computer friend. Nice. We gotta go. Ow, 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 ow. Francis, you are the coolest man, thanks. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Rochelle, hurry the fuck up. Thank God. Bye, Rochelle. Bye, Coach. Bye, Nick. <laughs> the survivors escaped. Nice. That was the second chapter. the third one the third chapter um it's a rather long one so we'll save that for next episode well anyways this was episode two of left for dead 2 asmr gameplay edition um, hope you guys enjoyed comment like subscribe it would help me out a lot and uh, it would really show your support uh, let me you know any criticism you guys have for me i will take it positively uh, let me know in the comments and um, until then I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye.